Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about scripting, my personal successes. I haven't had too many crazy stories with scripting, but I've picked out some of my funniest, most random, most visible proof of the law of assumption working through scripting. And yeah, just to prove to you that whatever you focus on really can manifest the most random weird things. So I've touched on this a little bit in the past, but I have a couple new, more recent manifestations and small successes that I'm gonna share with you guys and explain my favorite method for scripting that has really brought me a lot of unexpected success, I guess you could say. So please do a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this, if you'd like more videos on law of assumption and also just scripting. So yeah, please subscribe because it would mean a lot to me and let's just get into it. I have a little list on my phone um, just so I don't forget any of the points, but I will just go over initially how I actually format my scripting. So what I say is I, well no, I don't say it, but I write it. I prefer to type it on my laptop because it's easier for me to go back every day or whenever I feel like it, just go into my notes app on my laptop and kind of cross out and strike through um, all the points that I've manifested and kind of review it, maybe change a little bit or add something extra, it's just easier for me online. So what I write is things I manifested between, and then let's say February 1st and February 8th. So it's more or less a weekly period. Um, and then I will do little kind of bullet points underneath it and write out between four to five points. And I found that actually, Focusing more on like smaller manifestations and slightly more general, more wide ranging topics is easier than, but using very specific language, it's easier than being like, I'm going to marry my SP, I'm going to win the lottery. It's easier for me, I think, and better to build up your belief and confidence and excitement in manifestation and the power of scripting to do it that way. You can always go straight to the end. There are no rules, there's no, I'm not even saying that this is the right or wrong way to do it. I personally just think it's easier if you haven't really trained your mindset to accept the big things as easy, to just start with smaller manifestations. So let me give you an example. Like I said, potentially rather than writing, you know, during this week period, I'm marrying my SP or I married my SP, I like to use past tense. Instead, you could write something like, SP reached out to me, SP texted me, anything. I had a positive dream about SP. That's something really small and easy and simple with no pressure that you can start with that. Like, oh my gosh, it happened. And it was in the same period of when I wrote it would happen. And then you can build up the next week with something like, well, now he texted me or whatever you want. So for me, for example, I write things like, I received excellent positive news. And then sometimes I'll add something like about my family or about my finances. So I do get a little more specific because if you say I received positive news, it could be just your friend calling you, telling you, oh my gosh, I have this amazing thing happen to me this week, which is fantastic and that's great. And if you have someone in your life that you feel you need to manifest for, do that. But for me, and I think in general, we're just trying to manifest our own successes. So you wanna be a little more specific, which is why I said to add something like about my family, about my finances. Sometimes it will work anyway, depending on what beliefs you have about what positive news means. But yeah, I do try and get very specific because otherwise, if you write something like, I won money, then you, you might just win like a pound on a scratch card, which is cool. It's great that you had a little win there, but it's obviously not what we're going for. We're going for something like a hundred, a thousand, a hundred thousand pounds, right? When we're winning something. So I'll go over a couple more of my examples, but that's just the general format I use. And then, like I said, on my laptop, I will do the little strike through with the font setting um, once it's manifested. Sometimes I'll wait till the end of the week and then review everything. But sometimes I just get kind of excited. I'm like, oh, I bet something actually has happened. And then when you're reading over it, you kind of think back over the past few days and you realize that there might be experiences that actually align with that. That may not be the exact thing you wrote, but they're close enough to prove that actually what I scripted is essentially what happened. So some things that I wrote is not 
This isn't necessarily this week, but over the past few months, one thing I wrote is I wanted someone, this was a couple months ago, I wanted someone to apologize to me um, by text or something. And yeah, I received an apology within that time frame. So I think I wrote like, it was in October and I literally received, that person messaged me out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it. They apologized to me. So I got what I wanted. I was really surprised. That was something I was like, I'll just put this on here because it was a bit of a more larger manifestation in my eyes. It wasn't just a random apology, but that person apologized to me and it happened pretty much within that same week where I said, where I wrote it would. So yeah, that was a pretty amazing um, manifestation for me that proved that actually, if you really get very specific and focus on what you want, it's very likely to happen as you know, in the best way possible. Then I also, this was also at the end of last year, I scripted that I received a check for 2000 pounds. So again, I got very specific. I said it should be a four digit number. So I don't just get a random check for 10 pounds or something. I was like, no, I'm getting a check for 2000 pounds. So that was a very specific number to me. And actually, I think it was almost exactly one week later, I received 10 times that amount. And it was kind of in the method where I would, in the form of what I would expect it to come as. So it manifested from a person that I thought it would manifest from and in a similar way that I thought it would manifest. Um, but I also wasn't expecting it. I didn't know like, oh yeah, in a couple of weeks that like, this person's gonna speak to me and tell me that I'm getting this check. I didn't know that, but I manifested a check 10 times that amount. So that is proof that actually you can get a million times better than what you scripted. You might say, you know, I got a raise at work by 2% or whatever figure for you that is what you want, your goal, what you think would be really positive. Guess what? It could end up being a raise of like 50%. You just never know. It can always manifest better. I think it's very much linked to your subconscious beliefs. So I think for me, because of the source that the money came from, I just already had very positive beliefs about that. So because of that, it was probably much more likely that I would get the check being 10 times more than I anticipated. So yeah, just don't be too hard on yourself. Don't read into what you've written or what you've manifested. Some weeks you may only get a couple of manifestations from it. Some weeks you might get everything and sometimes yeah, it may be a little less than what you expected or a little more. It can vary. Just keep working on your positive beliefs and affirmations. And over time, you should see that rate increase and improve. So another thing I wrote, this one's really funny. I scripted that I received free clothes. And this was very random. This is not part of any major manifestation, obviously. I was like, let me just test my, you know, manifesting powers, my scripting powers. Let's have fun with it. Because it's always good to just have a little bit of random fun with manifesting. And yeah, I was like, okay, that'd be great. Like maybe a brand will send me clothes to review or I don't know. I was like, let's just see how this happens. And I realized looking back on it, it was, when was it? It was within the week within the time period that I literally said, I think it was February 4th to 10th some, or 11th, somewhere around that time period, this month in February, I literally wrote, I was like, yeah, I'm receiving free clothes. And what happened was on a night out, it was, I think two days before that week period ended, I was wearing a black kind of furry coat and there were several other girls that I went out with who had the same type of coat on and we handed them in to a coat check at a club and then one of the girls went home earlier and she was like, yeah, my coat's with this ticket. She took a coat and it was mine and I ended up taking hers. I didn't obviously check the label. I was like, oh, this looks exactly like mine. I was a little drunk. So I was like, yeah, this is my coat. And then I just hung it up when I got home. And then the next day she was like, okay, someone has my coat because I have somebody else's. This is not mine. So it's quite funny because I, I realized reading back over what I scripted, I, I did receive free clothes. Like I said, it can happen in a very unexpected, weird, random, funny way. And that's why I think it's important to be specific. If I wrote, I received free clothes from a brand or from a retailer who wants to work with me or collab with me or as a gift from a friend or something, that is much more specific and implies 
that you get to keep the clothes. So obviously I did a swap back with the girl and we took our own coats back. But I just thought that was so funny how that one manifested. So I think this was last week's successes. I have a little list here of, again, nothing crazy, but some really interesting, amazing, random ways that I've manifested my weekly scripting points. So I wrote that I won a five figure sum of money. And there again, I thought I was being very specific. I was like five figure, that is, you know, that's getting very specific. But what happened was I ended up winning 5,000 points, which is four figure, but I ended up winning 5,000 points on an app um, where like I do little surveys and stuff and it only translated to two pounds. But I just thought it was really funny that I, I won a sum of money and the sum, the, the sum of the points that I won was a four figure sum, if that makes sense, which didn't really obviously translate to what I wanted. I wanted like 10,000 pounds, <laughs> but I just thought it was funny how that kind of partially manifested and came about within that time frame. And I've never won 5,000 points on that app before. It wasn't until I wrote this that I won a huge amount of points. And then I wrote that I received excellent positive news, which again, it's not super specific because it could manifest in a friend messaging me being like, something amazing happened in my life. But I ended up getting an email that I won 75 pounds and it was a legitimate, genuine email about something that I had entered and they yeah, basically notified me to check my account because I had won 75 pounds. And it happened within that exact same week period that I wrote. So that again proved to me it works and what better news than you've received free money, like no better news than that. So that manifested and then I wrote that several guys pursued me. That was a bit more random. I was like, why not? Let's just see. This will prove to me, you know, how powerful I am as a manifester. And then I had a couple guys beyond what is normal DMing me and asking me out on a date like they were like guys were actually pursuing me and it was several guys which is not necessarily uncommon for women especially online and on social media but for me I noticed the way that they were speaking to me and because it happened exactly within that time frame that same week I was like this is the manifestation so I ticked that off one off the list and then finally what else Okay, finally, this one wasn't scripting, but I decided that because my orchid plants, which you may have seen in my flat tour video, they kind of died and the flowers fell off and I'm kind of wanting to replace them now. These are old plants to my mum and I'm gonna buy new ones, but now I was like, hold on, I'm a manifester. I'm a master at manifesting. Why am I gonna buy them? I was like, no, I'm receiving them for free. I want a free orchid plant. Why should I have to go and buy that with my own money? someone's gonna give it to me. So I kind of just said that out loud. I don't remember the exact wording now because it was such a random moment where I was like, yeah, I'll probably manifest. I'll just speak it into existence. Let's see how it goes. So I said something along the lines of, I'm receiving a free orchid this week. And I was like, okay, and it's done. And I kind of forgot about it. So then it was about a week later. So it wasn't in the exact same time period, but it was between five to seven days later my mum came over and of course in a plastic bag she had two massive orchids i'm looking at one of them right now um and they weren't white orchids as i had like ideally wanted but they were orchids and she brought me two i only wanted one i i said i'm gonna get one and she brought me two so i consider that a huge success i basically got what i wanted um and they're really pretty they're lovely and i don't have to go out and buy an orchid so I thought those were just some cool, fun manifestations. Hopefully they give you guys a bit of inspiration, prove to you how powerful manifesting and scripting can be, and just getting very specific with the little details. So let me know your favorite methods for scripting and manifesting in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.